Following on from the recent announcements uh, in relation to the general economic crisis, uh, the government has confirmed that the original plans for putting into place a cap on care, care costs, has in fact now been delayed. Uh, and arguably, and commentators are considering whether this is indefinitely delayed. What we do know is that the original plan to cap care costs to £86,000 over the cost of a, a lifetime in care have now effectively, uh, for current purposes, uh, been completely removed. The implication to individuals is, of course, that whatever little comfort financially was available by this uh, cap on care is no longer in place. And as a result, uh, people face the eye-watering costs of care uh, now having to be met from their personal savings or indeed from property having to be sold, lifetime assets having to be split up. This is obviously coming as devastating news uh, to families uh, facing care cost crisis, but what also should be considered fundamentally before any financial implications uh, are factored in is whether the individual should be paying at all. What is often overlooked is the fact that continuing healthcare funding will meet the cost of an individual's care in full if it's the case it can be established that the need for care is primarily due to health reasons. Where this is the case, there is no liability for cost whatsoever. The NHS meets the cost in full, irrespective of what the financial situation of the individual is. Because of this, uh, there can be some misinformation being provided and unfortunately, people that should be providing the funding uh, being incorrectly denied it. As a company, Compass CHC are available to assist in this area. We specialise in ascertaining whether an individual meets this criteria by uh, examining the care records that are available uh, and engaging our experts to cross-refer the evidential situation to the criteria for continuing healthcare funding and clearly setting out whether somebody is entitled or indeed not. We are able to offer a free, independent, uh, completely no obligation in initial assessment where we can go through matters with you and discuss it at length uh, to set out what your options are and indeed whether it's the case that you may be eligible or not. If you have a relative that is currently paying for care who is in care perhaps for issues such as dementia or Alzheimer's or has very severe health issues you should not hesitate to contact us. We can go through matters with you, explain the situation and set out what the options are available to you. Uh, you can contact us by uh, telephone or indeed completing a free assessment online uh, and one of our experts will be in touch.